Hello. I don't know whether it's the final cutting of the apron strings uh, now that Mum and Dad uh, have gone back to 1963. I don't know if it's the fact that we've lost all the original cast members apart from Hartnell. I don't know whether it's finding a new balance in the TARDIS crew with the Doctor and two companions. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's conceptual because the programme does something very, very different this week, which will become much more typical of Doctor Who going forward. But Doctor feels like he's taken another step and grown up even more. Um, I love low, small-scale Hartnell. I think Hartnell stories work so much better when there's not um, some great big um, galactic disaster that might befall or the this crew might end up dead in the next 10 seconds or something like that. I much prefer Hartnell stories when there's just a bit of mystery, uh, something that needs solving. I also like Hartnell historical stories, and this is the first story in which we get somebody other than the Doctor who has the same level of mystery. I love the, all the conversation with the new companion, um, talk about time travel, a, a kind of a, a primer on people who've not seen the program before, which is a bit weird because I'm pretty sure this is the last story in the season. This would feels a little bit more like a first story of the season story um, because it's got all the, this is what the TARDIS stands for and oh look it's one the inside and the out. It's just, it's just a, a, such a pleasant story to watch. Um, of course we, we've only got the, um, the old uh, woman in the village, not a woman, the woman in the village, but she puts in a nice little guest performance, and I like her, and, uh, and then of course you've got Peter Butterworth as the watcher in question. This is just a brilliant episode of Doctor Who, and you look at Terry Nation stuff and the poor quality of his script, and then Dennis Spooner just chucks something like this, some really funny gags as well, like re genuinely funny, the the bit about the, uh, this is the dematerialisation thing, that's the horizontal thrust, that's the scanner, that's the chair with a panda on, sheer poetry, dear boy, that's fantastic, and the bit where he's talking about the Viking helmet being a space helmet for a cow, oh, there's some really funny stuff in this story, brilliant, this is, this is like Doctor Who is, right now, I love this story, Bring it on. Let's have some more of this. Cheerio. Bye-bye.